Hello guys and welcome back to Comment and it's time for another tutorial. Today we're going to discuss about how to debug Raycast. And before we're going to start, I created a new script and it's just for me only. If you are doing this on your own, you just um, have on your own script somewhere a Raycast and you just put it right there, the debugging and everything like uh, that, but it's just for the example. Um, so, and I also I loaded up the assistant create scene, but it doesn't really have anything to do with it. Um, so we are going to have a few parameters. So we are going to have a public factor tree origin. Um, well, let's just, that's like the very first variable from a request, but let's just remove this one for now um, and just make it the actual location that we are going to use the location of the object itself. It's very, a little bit easier to understand everything. Then we've got the direction a public factor three direction and we're going to make it equal to a factor three dot up and we're just going to put a minus in front of it so it means that it's going down and then we've got a public um raycast hit hit um a public float max distance and we're going to put it on 10 for now um, a public layer mask layer mask and there are two different um, raycasts. One you can put in the start function and one you can put in the update function. Or you can always also uh, think of it like one that you call every frame and once you call only once or once every few seconds. So we're first going to discuss the one you are um, use calling up every frame because that's a little bit easier to understand and from there we're going towards the one you only call every so now and then. So here you've got your physics dot raycast. And we start with the uh, game object dot position. Oops. Uh, I mean the transform dot position. And we are going towards the direction. We are going towards the output is going to be hit. Then it's got the max distance and it's got the layer mask. Um, oops, it needs to have a capital. Um, here you have your comments um, or your code or whatever you want to call it. And here we're going, just going to add a print. And from that, the um, I'm sorry, of course, here something the out because it's the output. Uh, we're just going to add here the hit dot transform dot name so now you just get the name of everything you hit um, and as you can see if we are just going to start it all up you see we are hitting something and that's the floor prototype and that's the object uh, this object um, that is still something even though you currently know you are hitting something or you are not hitting because it, you don't get a print comment in your uh, log file. But of course, this isn't enough. You want to, uh, you need to know more about what's exactly happening within that scene, what's exactly happening within that raycast. So we do a debug dot draw ray. Um, from that, you start again with the transform dot position because that's your the location where you start, and then you go towards the direction, but. If you want to make it longer, you multiply this with the distance. So you multiply this with the maximum distance. Then um, you also got the color and that's you just something that you really need to set up every time. So, so you just know which color exactly uh, the one is. It makes it a little bit easier to understand what's happening. So we just put here green for now and we're just going to hit play. But as you can see, we got here a nice ray, and wherever we're going to move it, it is just moving with it. And as you can see, now we don't have anything that is hitting it, and we can just see it within the scene. We just think, oh yeah, that's right. Um, so this is kind of like how you debug a normal raycast. But now you also got the start function. So we're just going to copy paste this. And here, uh, it's exactly the same happening except that 
we are going to do minus direction so it's going towards uh, up and we also going to do it right here and we made the uh, color white so we know which color it is and now it's only going it once so we our eyes cannot see it because it's just flashing up and directly it's gone so we want to make sure that it is going to be um, a little bit longer so we add here the last, last variable the float duration we add here duration of let's say 10 seconds and as you can see uh, that ray just stays here well I can just move the green ray uh, just all over and as you can see it's now gone but you at least you saw what's happening where it was hitting this hit anything and so on so now we can just that's very easily how to rake or how to debug raycast um, a few things you need to make sure that everything is all right when you are debugging uh, raycast or actually a few tips about what can go wrong when you are playing around with raycast so the very first one is it is um, hitting a trigger and not a collider or the object doesn't have collider that's the very first thing um, so just think of that of it um, the second thing is your distance isn't uh, isn't far enough but you can of course see that with the draw array um, the layer mask isn't right that's something that's happened a lot of times that's something you really need to check a few times that this layer mask uh, mask the layer mask is the same as the layer of the object you want to hit and it's kind of like all the tips and all the um, explanation I can give you guys for this week I hope you guys liked it if you did please leave a like or subscribe it really supports this channel and I'll see you guys next week with another tutorial bye